This one looks old. Look at the difference in the color. This is really light. This one's really dark. Oh, and look, the In God We Trust is gone. I think this is gonna be old. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 30s, maybe. Let's flip it over and find out. What do you guys think? Ready? Three, two, one. All right, guys, I'm back again, and they got old bills right now, over $2,000 in old bills. We're gonna take them home and see what we got. All right, guys, we are back home with the bills. I have not looked at these. You guys have seen as much as I have, so let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, I apologize for the air conditioner going on in the background. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I'll try and filter it out so you don't hear it as much in the video. All right, here we go. I did, now, before I open this, I did see one $20 bill that I felt looked older because the ink looked a little bit different. So I'm hoping we have an oldie, oldie, oldie in here. All right, let's pull them out. There we go. Perfect, that actually works out perfect. I wanted to start with the hundreds. All right, he did clip them. I should, probably should have told him not to do that. All right, that's how you end up getting rust spots all over your bills. A lot of people put put uh, these on there, and they, for you know, throw them in a in a vault or something, and in time they rust, and that can ruin your bills. So you never want to do that. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. I want to get a little bit closer. There we go. Let's let's go like that. All right, let's flip our first one. And our first one is a 1985. Uh, nothing real special about it. Uh, not that super old, and the serial number is not that great. We'll go ahead and set that one aside. Our next one is 1988. Again, not that old. Uh, nothing super great about it. It's in better shape, though. It's not too creased. A little bit better. This one's got a little bit of damage right there where they tend to be creased and folded. Um, this is a 19, is that 83 or 93 it looks like, so not that old. Come on, give us an oldie. We've got some good stuff from this bank in the past. 1985, 11855, all right. So nothing there again. I would love to get a star note. 1985 again. This one's actually not too bad. It's pretty crispy, pretty nice condition. Doesn't look uh, like it's been folded a whole lot. You can see a little creasing. All right, next one. And hey, it's our oldest one yet so far, 1981. Uh, again, no crazy serial numbers. I'll probably pass. It had a counter stamp on it. Uh, 1988, 5535. Five, five. It started off like it almost had four fives there. That would have been cool but we'll pass on that one. This one's got some creasing damage. And again, another 85, 66544. Had a couple little repeats in there, but nothing crazy. Come on, 1990, 1990. Where were you in 1990, guys? <laughs> All right, let's do another one. 1985, all right, uh, again, Kind of average condition and uh, nothing real great about it. Come on, give me something good. 1990, we'll pass on that one. I want to get down to that. I want to find that 20. Oh, ooh, look at this. 1969 C Series. Wow, this one's actually in pretty decent shape, guys. It is actually in pretty decent shape. I'm going to show you all the corners here. Look at that, and there's very little creasing on it. This is one, I mean, I would consider holding on to this one. I would actually consider holding on to this one. It's in really good shape. All right, let's set that one over here in the keep pile. I may keep that one. I like that. And our next one, I wish it would have been a star note. Oh, look at this. 1985 I would have liked to have seen more twos in there. That would have been cool. All right, our next one is 1981, nothing crazy. Uh, a lot of sevens and sixes. 
and we got a counter stamp. Anytime you got writing or counter stamping, unless it's like old counter stamping, um, probably not going to be worth holding on to. But I have found some counter stamps that were pretty cool. So uh, depends on what you want to collect. Look at this one: eighty one 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 three four two one three. Lots of ones and threes in that, but uh, I'll pass on that one. So far, that 69 is the best thing we have found. 1990, uh, just average condition. I don't even, I wouldn't even keep that one. 50s. First one is a 1981 060. Man, I want to get a star note so bad. All right, our next one, whoop, one's jumping out of the pack. Again, we have writing on this one right there. Someone wrote a 13. I would pass on that one for sure. Ooh, is this going to be the old one right here? This Look how dark that ink looks. That's the one. That might be the one I was thinking. Uh, 1985. Uh, nothing special. This is what I I think we're going to be. See, look. Can you tell the difference on that ink? This one's a little bit darker. I think this is going to be old. I think this is going to be old. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess 30s, maybe. Let's flip it over and find out. What do you guys think? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's 50s. 1950A. A series, or yeah, A series, 522-81722. I actually thought this was going to be a little bit older. And I'll show you the difference between these. Look at that. That's that's awesome. We got an oldie. Let's flip this one over. Uh, and you can kind of see the difference in the, the writing. And uh, over here is the uh, main difference. Look at all the the writing here versus up here. That's a big difference right there. Uh, and like I said, it's just the ink is different. You can usually tell the older ones, the ink is much darker. So that's awesome. 1958, I, that would have been amazing if that was a star note. We'll set that in the keep pile. This one's got some writing on it. We're gonna pass on that one. That's so cool. I can't believe these are still in circulation. All right, we're gonna pass on that one, nothing crazy. 1985, again, this one's really worn. Uh, it's a smaller denomination, so they're going to get used a lot more. Whoops, I grabbed two by mistake. 1988, again, pretty worn. Almost a, uh, it is a trinary. It's a trinary, almost a binary, but uh, it's in pretty poor condition. Next one, ooh, look at all those uh, zeros. Wow, could you imagine if it was, if that 7.3 was zeros? That would be amazing. And that if that would have been a 7, that would have been a humongous radar. It would have went 7.3, 7, 3, and then all the zeros in the middle. That would, been, that would have been pretty cool, but it's pretty worn. Almost a radar. All right, uh, 85, again, not that great. Let's see what else we got here. 1977, another oldie. Now this one, um, I would probably pass on. It's in pretty poor condition. It is an older one. I like to. I really like collecting them in the 70s and 60s and down, but that one's in pretty poor shape. So I'm gonna pass. 88, in not too bad a shape. It's got a little creasing. Now we do have a lot of tens. She said there were a lot of tens. 1990, really bad shape. Again, it's a smaller den denomination, so. Uh, these gonna these are gonna get used a lot more, and they're gonna be a lot more ratty and uh, ratty looking and dirty. Whoops, grab two again by accident. Nineteen eighty one, I think it's eighty one. All right, not too bad, but it's it's pretty poor condition. Eighty five 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 six six. Oh, that'd have been cool if it was seven seven eight eight. <laughs> that'd have been neat. All right, next one. 1990, in pretty decent shape, but it's newer and just not for me. Not that old. Oh, 1969 C Series. Yes, we got another oldie, but it is in really bad shape, guys. It's in poor shape. It's got marks all over. It's been creased up really bad. It looks like maybe some ink, some ink spots. The backside's not bad at all, actually. Backside's way better than the front. We'll set it in the keep pile for now. 
but that one will probably go back. Oh, that one looks old, guys. <gasps> Wait. This one looks old. Look at the difference in the t look at the difference in the color. This is really light. This one's really dark. Is this going to be another 50s? We're going to find out here in just Oh, and look. The In God We Trust is gone. This could be 30s. In God We Trust? No In God We Trust. Let's uh, let's let's check that one out. Oh, I got I got excited. 1981. All right, let's see what we got here. You ready? Oh, it's a 1950. It's another 1950A. 9950324. And again, it's got all that little print right up here. And the big difference on the older tens is there's no "In God We Trust." So and look right underneath. Knowing God we trust again. What? This is awesome. These are still in circulation, guys. That's awesome. All right. Uh, 1950 A series. Uh, really not worth a ton of money unless they're in like amazing, amazing shape. But wow. Ooh, look. 1950 B series. We oh 1818. We got a repeater on the on this one. Oh, I wish that was a star note. That would have been amazing. But look at that, guys. 1950 B series and a 1950 A series. That's awesome. We got both series. <laughs> I don't know if there was a C series. All right, let's zoom back out a little bit. All right. And we got a couple left. What do we got? This one's got the end God we trust, so we know it's going to be newer. Nine, 93. And our last bill is a $5 bill. Last one. Will it be awesome? I don't know. Let's flip it over and find out. It is, oh my gosh, a 1950E series. Dude, we killed it for all these today, guys. And it's 59648284. And I love the, the font of the, the numbers. It's it's just different. You can you can just see that the there's a different in, difference in the numerals. Compared to, to nowadays, they're much thicker. They're really, really thin on this. So we got 1950E series, 1950B series, 1950A series. We got a C series uh, 69. We got the $20 bill from 1950A series. And we have the 100 from 1969C series. So what an awesome, awesome hunt. This was a lot of fun. It is so much fun. I love that she saves all these old bills for me. All you got to do, guys, is talk to your local banker, uh, your local tellers, and ask them if they will hold all of the, the older bills for you so you can search, search them and look through them. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you do feel like this is a cool video, you might want to hit that subscribe button because we do these all the time. We'll see you next time, guys, and as always, happy hunting.